Hi guys, so today I am going to be doing a makeup look for you. So yesterday, um, I went out with my mom and my sisters to celebrate Mother's Day, and um, I did a makeup look, sorry I had something on my nail, I did a makeup look that looked really nice and I'm going to try and recreate it today. And um, prom is coming up, my prom is actually in less than a week, it is next Friday, today is a Sunday, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everybody out there, even though this won't be going out on Mother's Day. I am, yeah, my prom is in like five days or something like that, and um, I'm going to be, this is a look that if I were doing my own makeup for prom, um, which I almost did, but I'm doing one of my friend's makeup, so um, if she likes it, I might do this look on her. It just, it just depends, but I figured this would be a nice prom makeup, nothing too dramatic or nothing too subtle. I don't know, it photographed really well on me yesterday, so hopefully it does the same today. Hopefully I can remember everything I did. Um, I don't want to ramble too much, so uh, let's just get started, I guess. I am first going to be applying, I forgot to get it out, um, my photo finish, my Smashbox photo finish foundation primer. Just, I have a little trial size thing of it. I'm just going to be putting this in a little bit over my face. Now that I have my primer on, I am going to be going in with my foundation, and I am using the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. Mine is in the shade Natural Ivory, or C2. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of this, and you only need a little bit on the back of my hand. Start with a little, you don't want to waste it. And then I'm going in with my beauty blender, uh, my damp beauty blender. It was just going to kind of do this all over my skin. Now that my foundation is on, I'm going to go in with concealer. And I use two different concealers. I use my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous in it doesn't have the shade on it, I guess it fell off, but it's really just one of the lightest shades because if you can tell, like, I'm really pale. And I also use a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Light One Chantilly, however that's pronounced. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of these concealers on any problem areas, which I don't have very many of right now, thank goodness. Um, Spots that typically get red, and then especially under my eye, and a little bit on the eyelid. Then I just like to dab a little bit of my CoverGirl one right on top just to make it blend out a little bit smoother. Then I'm, I'm just going to take my fingers to begin with. Now I just like to take my beauty blender to help blend out all the rest. Okay, now that I have my concealer on and my foundation on, it's time to set the face. And I am using um, the NYX Photogen Photogenic HD Studio Finishing Powder. That's a long name. This one is in the translucent um, SPF 10. No, SPF 1. I read it wrong. Um, you want the lowest SPF for pictures. I'm just going to take a kind of big fluffy thing, take a little bit of what's on the cap, and start light. I really don't like putting on too much. Um, I don't like putting on too much powder because I feel like it makes my face just look bad and cakey and stuff. So I like to start with a little bit and then if I need more in certain places, I'll take a more precise brush and go over. Now we're going to move on to contouring and bronzing and all that stuff. I actually just got the Too Faced contour last night at the mall. I'm just going to be taking the 
little contour brush and taking the um, shade right here. I flipped it upside down so the mirror didn't get in the way. It is the medium cocoa shade. I haven't used this before so we're going to be very careful about using too much. So we're going to start at the top of our ears and um, get to the top of our mouths, lips, however that makes sense. I really don't want it too dark. You do want to do a little bit of contouring because it will look good in pictures, give you a little bit of a dimension. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this color again and go along the temples or along the hairline, whichever. And now I'm going to go a little bit under the chin. I'm taking my Real Techniques blush brush and I am mixing the um, Makeup Geek blushes in the shade, if I can get it out. I believe it's the shade Spellbound. Yeah, it's the shade Spellbound, which, hope you can see it, is that kind of color. Like, it's really pretty. It's one of my favorites. And I like to mix it with a really bright pink that is the shade First Love really pink. I like to mix those two together on my blush brush. Top off and just kind of roll over your cheeks. Now that blush is done, I'm moving on to highlight and I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I like to take um, a mixture of every color Ooh, that looks really pretty. I hope the camera's picking up on how pretty that looks. Just a tiny bit on my forehead. I get kind of shiny on my forehead. Um, at events like this, so... Just the tiniest bit down the nose. Above the lip. And a little bit on the chin. That's really all I like to do for that. And now, we can move on to the eyebrows. Now I am using the Anastasia Brow Wiz Beverly Hill uh, in the shade Medium Brown. Just a, the brow pencil. I like to line the bottom and then the top. and then fill it in in the middle. I don't really go crazy with my eyes, or with my eyebrows. Just enough to make them, see, you can see the difference, but it's not too crazy. All right, now I'm going to prime my eyes with my MAC um, Paint Pot in Painterly. I am using, if I can get it open, my MAC Burgundy Times 9 palette. It has nine kind of burgundy shades. Lorac Pro palette. So, all of these colors. I'm first going to take a kind of fluffy blending brush, and I like to take um, the shade Nude, Cream, and Light Pink. I just kind of mix them all. These are from the Lorac Pro palette. I just mix them all on the same brush and put them all over the eyelid. This just kind of helps get a base going for the rest of the colors. I'm going to take um, a little bit of the shade white and just put that right in the inner corner just to kind of give you a feel of the lighter color that's going to be going there. I'm taking this very second color in the palette right there. Just a little bit of that on that same brush. This is probably my favorite brush in my collection. 
and I'm putting that a little bit on the outer half of the lid and into the crease. Now, on the same brush, I'm going to be taking the color mauve, or mauve, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a little bit of that color from the Lorac Pro palette, and I'm just putting this in the crease. Okay. Now that that's in, we're going to start with some of the darker colors and um, I'm going to take this color right here from the MAC palette and I'm taking that on a different fluffy brush. I'm taking this in the crease and just a tiny bit above the crease. Okay, now on that same brush that we were just using, we're going to take the color right next to the one that we just used. It's um, a sh this shimmery one. It's kind of like a cranberry shimmery color. Right there. This one is really pretty. This is going to start giving us that kind of pink color. Not like pink, but burgundy, I guess. I like to call it pink. We're going to put this in the crease and above, and we're going to kind of focus it more on the outer crease, the outer half. I mean, we're going to take it into the corner a little bit, but we're not going to focus it in the inner corner. And we're going to take it a tiny bit on the outer corner, on the lid. I hope this is making sense. I'm going to take a flat brush. This is from the Naked 3 palette. Um, and I'm putting the darkest um, burgundy shade from the MAC palette on the flat brush. And we're just going to kind of dip it in lightly and tap it off. And we're focusing this on the very outer corner of the eye. I'm going to take the um, second blending brush that we used and I'm going to take a little bit more of this sparkly color right there. And I'm going to put it above the crease a little bit more. I am taking my Naked palette um, and I'm just taking the color Virgin because this is such a pretty color. And I'm putting it on my brow bone. This is probably my favorite color to put on the brow bone. It's just the right amount of shimmery and the right amount of light. Just looks really pretty. Now I am taking my favorite color. It is the Laura Paris Infallible Cream Eyeshadows. This is in the shade. Oh man. It's in the shade Ice Latte. So I'm going to apply it with my pinky. I'm just sticking it right in the corner. See how pretty that looks. Oh my gosh, I love it. Angled brush like that, and I'm taking the color Sable. Not Sable, I'm taking the color Espresso from the Lark Pro palette. It's just a dark brown color, and it's really soft, and it's really good to use for this purpose I'm about to use it for. I am taking this, I'm using it as the eyeliner for my upper lash line.
Okay, now um, eyeliner. I'm using a black eyeliner to line my, um, what is it called? Not my, my tight line. Once it's on, I like to kind of close my, blink my eyes, squeeze them shut, and it transfers it onto the bottom really nicely. Very nice. And now I'm going to go over it with um, Urban Decay 24-7 Light On Eye Pencil in um, the shade LSD. Okay, now I'm going to take the same angled brush that I did the top lash line with and I'm going to take a little bit of that same espresso color and I'm going to go along the um, outer half of my lower lash line. Hopefully you can see it because it's hard to get it in frame. Now I'm taking that sparkly color right there, putting it on the same angled brush and going along the rest of the lash line. I really like how it turned out and now I'm just going to put on my mascara. And I am using first the CoverGirl Clump Crusher um, mascara. But for this video, I'm not putting on false eyelashes, so I'm just going to be doing a couple coats of mascara. Already see the difference between my eyes. Don't forget your bottom lashes. Now on top of that, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colossal Lash Volume Express Cat Eye Mascara. It's a long name. I really like the brushes that have like the scoop like that. Now, <laughs> I think it's probably about time to clean up my eye lids. There they are. I'm just going to take a clean Q tip and just go over the spots that mascara okay now lips I'm going to be putting on um, my Sephora brand lip liner in the shade cherry chestnut I'm just going to not overline my lips just going to line them and fill them in Um, color that I'm about to use is a Revlon color. It's in the shade Black Cherry. That actually completes this video, which I believe was really, really long, so I'm going to try to cut it down so it's not as long. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like this look, and if you do something similar, I would love to see pictures or just be told that you did something similar. Um, I hope this reaches you in time for your prom. I know a lot of proms are earlier in the year. But anyway, even if you're not wearing it for prom, just I hope you will enjoy this look. I really like it. I think it's darker than I normally do without being too dark and it's good for pictures. I just, I was really happy when I came up with this. Um, so again, hope you enjoyed. Um, let me give you one last kind of close up on makeup. Please thumbs it up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? It's fun. Um, so with nothing else to say, making it awkward, I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Um, have a great one, night, morning, afternoon, prom, wedding, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye.